Hello Soil Lot friends, I'm Anita and today I'm going to be showing you the three hole yarn foot. It's available for the Viking Soy Machines and the Fof Soy Machines. And today I'm going to be showing you the foot for the Fof Soy Machine. I'm going to be working on the Ambition 610. And the three hole yarn foot has three holes in the front and kind of nice size so you can use different textures of yarn. Just make sure that your yarn is smooth so it doesn't have any bumps that it doesn't feed through there uh, evenly. The first thing you want to do is on the foot is the back of the foot there's like a little channel and so your yarns are going to feed real smooth in the back. So I'm going to take my first color of yarn and I have a little pail here that I kind of keep my little yarns on the on the bottom on the floor and I feed them up and this keeps my yarn straight. So I'm going to feed it and also comes with your foot is a little it's a little threader and you can thread your yarn with this little threader and it just pulls through like this and go easy so you don't break it and pulls through and there's my yarn for the first one now I'm going to place my second color in the back of my little bucket to keep them run smooth I'm going to use my little threader again see how they do they will slip out a little bit so you want it to go underneath your foot so just kind of pull it through and pull it to the back. Keep your yarn straight. Then you're going to do your third color. It's going to be my blue. Keep it down here like this. And I'm going to pull it through with my little threader. And there it is. Put my threader to the side. Pull my yarns to the back. My little yarns on the floor to keep them straight. Now on the faf, you have a little opening here in the back of the foot and it's good for the IDT. You can use it, engage your IDT or you don't have to. Lower your presser foot down and take your threads and push them to the back. And I like on this, using this foot, I like the three step zigzag and the three step zigzag, it shows a lot of the yarn. That's what you want to do. You want the yarns to show and your design to show too. I have marked my fabric with a line and you can go sway back and forth either one but for just starting the beginning just go uh, go straight enjoy your foot. I chose the three step zigzag and I've got it set at 10 with a, uh, as my length and I've got it set as the 7 as my width. So I'm going to go ahead and start sewing. And it's best just to go a little slow at the beginning. Kind of keep your yarn separated. And, and when you raise your presser foot up, pull your yarns to the back and you can cut them off in the back. So that way they won't come out of the front. And there is our stitch. It's three steps zigzag, but it does a real nice stitch on top. You can use metallic threads on the top, regular uh, thread on the top, and I just use white bobbin fill on the bottom. I can sew another line. I'll show you how to do that. Just lower my presser foot back, down. I'm still going to have my yarns to the back. Make sure they're nice and straight. And you can just do some moving it around. Just have fun with your yarn and your foot. Raise my presser foot up. And there's my there's our little demo. Isn't that pretty? It really shows off your yarns when you keep your stitch length long. I have also did some projects and I use different textures of yarn which are available here at Sew A Lot and these are some sparkly yarns and the holes in the feet are available you can put two or three uh, different kinds of yarn in each uh, hole as long as it fits and I use six I had two in each hole and so it makes it nice let me a little mat and use this little textured yarn which I like that I used the made a trim for a um, book marker which was a nice little feature. Just put trim on some grow grain. And I used my little button. That we got a little button foot that we I showed last month and made the trim with that. I have a little bracelet on that I made and I just did the swirling of it just like that with the different texture, textured yarns. And I had made this uh, jacket that I have on. It's just a sweatshirt cut up the middle. And then I just sewed it on a piece of stabilizer in my fabric. And the fabric that I chose to put it on was this purple. 
and then I just sewed it together and then I just fold it under and put it on my sleeves and the front of my sweatshirt. So there's a lot of uh, fun opportunities to be able to use your creativity and have a lot of fun with your feet. So I hope you enjoy your foot of the month and I'll see you next month. Bye.